All right, so here we are, NHL 25 reveal trailer. I want to give a big thanks to EA for giving me early access to this. If you want to see the full reveal, click the link down below. It was never just a job for us. It was just our passion and what we fell into. I've been in this hockey, hockey, hockey. You're pushing each other and just trying to make each other better at whatever you do. All right, so seeing the Hughes brothers here, I don't think that's much of a surprise. I feel like that was kind of a no-brainer for EA. It's just off the rip here. It seems like skating's better this year. That was a must for the game, if I'm being honest. I actually really like those Utah jerseys. They look really clean. Right, so we're gonna see Jack Quinn and Luke on the cover of NHL 25 here seven days early access that is something normally it's three or four but we're getting a full week of early access all right let's go through this all right so one of the first things I noticed is there's this new ice cube technology here and it seems like skating is a lot better we brought LT back which is a must honestly the fact that they took that out didn't really make too much sense to me the other thing is though I want to point out how the player is always facing the net here and that's because of the new ice cube technology so when you're looking to score, your player's going to be locked on the goal. He's not just going to be skating around with his back to the net at times. He's always going to be locked in on the net. The other thing we're going to get with next-gen vision control here is we're finally going to be able to walk the blue line. You're going to see this movement right here from Luke Hughes. You can now do this directly on the blue line, so you don't have to worry about walking along the blue line and then going offside and then back on side again. You no longer have to worry about that. By being focused on the net the entire time, you're going to be staying in the offensive zone. So this is going to create a lot more offensive opportunities. You're going to be able to walk the blue line. You're going to be able to open up the play a bit more. Now, if you know me, there's one thing that really infuriates me about NHL 24, and that's the fact that your CPU teammates are incredibly dumb. They never seem to be in the right position. Well, that changes for NHL 25. They've overhauled the entire CPU system, so now your players are actually going to be in the right spots at the right times here. This is a must. We need this in NHL 25, but it needs to be executed properly. We can't overhaul the entire system only for players to still be in the wrong spots at the right times. We need everyone to be in the right spots at the right time, and hopefully with this overhaul, that's what's going to be happening. We got a new foundational AI, and that should change everything. Like, as you can see with this Nashville power play, Stamkos is going to skate to the top of the circle. He's going to get the feed, and he's going to rip a one-timer here, and we do have some changes with one-timers. So we're going to have ourselves skill-based one-timers this year, so if you can find guys like Steven Stamkos and Alexander Ovechkin in their wheelhouse, and you can get a pass across to them, you're going to get high probability chances like this, and you're going to be definitely ripping that shot. Now, the only concern I have with this is we have to make sure that this isn't overpowered. If this becomes overpowered, then every single goal scored this year is going to be a one-timer. We have to make sure there's a lot of balance when it comes to this, so we're going to see what happens when it comes to that. Now, the one thing I will give EA credit for is the way players look in NHL 25 here, because it's a massive step up from NHL 24. Because of Sapien technology, we're now able to get better face scans, and the jerseys look a lot cleaner as well. Like, here's two pictures of Clayton Keller, one wearing the home jersey and one wearing the away, and as you can just tell, this looks a lot cleaner than NHL 24. Like even comparing NHL 24 to NHL 25 here, Quinn Hughes is looking a lot cleaner. The jersey looks a lot brighter. The face scan looks better. When comparing NHL 24 to NHL 25, NHL 25 is definitely winning this battle. However, I do want to mention the screenshots that you are seeing are coming from next-gen consoles. The next screenshot we're going to look at is Cole Caulfield Game Pass Rasmus Dahlin, but because of the new reactive actions in NHL 25, Rasmus Dahlin is going to be able to quickly get back into this play. Now I've shown a ton of screenshots of Quinn Hughes so far but how are some of the other players looking well we have a couple of Luke Hughes right here and I will say compared to NHL 24 this is a step in the right direction and then when it comes to Jack Hughes we're getting some great screenshots from him as well so there's one more addition to presentation that's going to be the all new grudge match system so that's going to track history across all matches played on online and offline game modes in NHL 25 it's going to make the matchups more competitive players are going to get additional x factors when playing their rivals it's going to put a lot more on the line when you're playing one of your rivals but what's the most important thing to NHL 25. Well, obviously the game modes, and this is what we have. Hut's getting an all-new wildcard game mode that's going to have unique rule sets, but on top of that, all XP earned during squad battles, rivals, and wildcard are now in a single progression path. 
Now, the thing I care about the most, franchise mode, and that's getting a revamp in HL25. It's getting a new franchise hub. They're going to make player navigation much easier. A lot of community suggestions have been put into NHL 25, so I'm really excited to see what that's going to turn into. And then when it comes to World of Chell, we're going to see an expanded life schedule, so that's going to be giving us more events throughout the entire life cycle. So like usual, if you order the Deluxe Edition early, you're going to be getting some bonuses. Seven days early access, that's more than ever before, but on top of that, you're getting 4,600 NHL points and a handful of packs. So what are we thinking about NHL 25 so far? Is it a W? Is it an L? Once again, I want to give a massive shout out to EA for allowing me to get this early access footage. If you haven't already, click the link down below to get access to the full reveal.